In the first episode of the Clone Wars series, Yoda comes to befriend the three clones who survived alongside him after a Separatist ambush, opening their minds up to see themselves as much more than just soldiers, and to instead view themselves as unique individuals that the Force valued as much as any other living being, despite their upbringing as weapons of war. Yet despite this humanization and wisdom from the Jedi Grand Master, all three clones would come to face a tragic fate. The book The Clone Wars Stories of Light and Dark retells several episodes from the Clone Wars show, adding additional scenes as well as inner character dialogue. In the chapter covering the first episode, Ambush, an additional scene occurs with Yoda going into a deep meditation shortly after returning from the mission. During this, he experienced quick glimpses of each of the clones and their fates through the Force. When it came to Jack, who Yoda told should use the gifts of his mind to outthink his enemies rather than rely solely on his weapons. The vision showed him the clone in mottled green armor, listening to the comm link within his helmet. He could sense Jack's feelings, first of disbelief and regret, but a moment later, those feelings vanished and were replaced with the need to obey. Unknown to Yoda, he was seeing a glimpse of Jack about to execute Order 66 on none other than himself, joining Commander Gree and sharing his fate as the Jedi Grand Master decapitated both clones before either had a chance to fire their weapons. In a cruel twist, the very lesson Yoda gave to the clone was what ultimately led to him being killed by his own hand. The lesson of overcoming his enemies by using his mind was what motivated Jack to retrain as a scout trooper, which specialized in reconnaissance and were taught to defeat their enemies by using their environments to their advantage, rather than directly confronting their foes with overwhelming firepower. When it came to Thyre, whose lesson from Yoda was not to recklessly rush into battle, and that by only surviving the war would he prevail. The vision showed Thyre in a helmet with bright crimson markings, as he was clearly searching for something. Near the clone, a powerful presence of malice and greed could be felt. This vision was of Thyre, now a commander within the Coruscant Guard, searching for Yoda following the Grand Master's failure in defeating Emperor Palpatine within the Senate chambers. It seems he too followed the Jedi's advice, being more cautious with his actions in battle, which likely led to him surviving the Clone Wars. Thyre's fate afterwards is currently unknown. Finally, the last clone, Reese, whose lesson from Yoda was to not let his narrow focus on the enemy blind him to the fact that he had squad mates who both depended on him and were there to help him. The Force vision of Reese showed his uncovered face appear faintly surprised, his eyes open but clearly lifeless. His face was covered in colorful flakes that had settled on his face. It's unknown what exactly happened to Reese, besides that he died at some point during the war. Our best guess is that he sacrificed himself to save his fellow clones from an explosion, with the colorful flakes possibly being sparks of fire and ash. If that's the case, then he too followed the advice of Yoda, choosing to protect those around him at the cost of his own life, rather than simply wishing to defeat the enemy at the expense of his allies around him. Despite these visions disturbing Yoda, he chose not to let them influence him, as he knew of past Jedi who dedicated their lives in attempting to thwart the visions they themselves saw, only to bring the very thing they sought to avoid into reality as a result. That it was best to let the Force flow as it always did, and to focus on the present rather than base your actions on vague visions of the future, a viewpoint Yoda would follow himself through the Clone Wars, for better or for worse.